lawsuit launched against Roy Moore for defamation. The race to fill former Sen Jeff Sessions' seat was one of the most dramatic elections in recent memory. Ultra-conservative judge Roy Moore narrowly lost to staunch abortion advocate Doug Jones partially due to allegations of sexual misconduct released just before the election. The story ISN over, however, Lee Korfman, one of Moore accusers, is suing him for defamation, claiming that Moore and his campaign called her a liar repeatedly. The lawsuit heats up the suit was filed this week in Montgomery County Circuit Court. Moore accuser says that the judge remarks about her were both untrue and defamatory. In a written statement to AL.com, Korfman explained, Mr. Moore sexually abused me when I was only 14 years old. Then he and his campaign called me a liar and immoral when I publicly disclosed his misconduct. They ignored my requests to stop attacking me and to acknowledge the truth. Just last week, after the election, they filed a lawsuit in which they once again called me a liar. By this lawsuit, I seek to do what I could not do as a 14-year-old old Mr. Moore and those who enable him accountable. Moore has denied the allegations repeatedly. But accusations from multiple women eventually ended the judge bid for a Senate seat in a too-close-to-call race. Korfman is not requesting monetary damages. Instead, she says she wants more to pay the costs of the lawsuit, issue a public apology for the defamation, and cease any derogatory statements about her. In an open letter to Moore, provided to AL.com, Korfman told the judge that she was telling the truth and you should have the decency to admit it and apologize. In Moore filing to stop the election results from being certified by Alabama, he called Korfman accusations of sexual misconduct false and malicious. Korfman cited that as only one example of the ongoing defamation. The right trips over itself in its effort to support Moore against what they saw as spurious allegations. Some conservative websites joined in on the negative press about Korfman. PolitiFact pointed out that Breitbart and Gateway Pundit both claimed that Korfman forged the signature in her yearbook that she claimed was from Moore. Gateway Pundit called Korfman nothing but a fame-seeking fraud. Those claims were false. Korfman said she added the date and place after the fact, but the inscription and signature were written by Judge Moore who said he didn't know Korfman. Others believed Korfman but were willing to support Moore anyway just to keep the Senate seat. We all know how well that worked.